Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we'll discuss a question which says that the amount of air in a sample of basketballs is normally distributed with mean 8 pounds and standard deviation of 0.5 pounds. What is the probability that a basketball has less than 7 pounds or more than 9 pounds of air? Now before starting the solution of this question, we should know some results. First is, the graph of normal distribution is symmetric about the mean. Now this is the graph of normal distribution and you can see that it is symmetric about the mean. Here x bar denotes the mean and sigma denotes the standard deviation. Here you can see about 68% of the data or area lies between x bar minus sigma and x bar plus sigma. Then about 95% of the data or area lies between x bar minus 2 sigma and x bar plus 2 sigma and about 99% of the data or area lies between x bar minus 3 sigma and x bar plus 3 sigma and percentage of area on the curve gives the probability. Now these results will work out as a key idea for solving out the given question. Now let us start with the solution of the given question. Now here we are given the average amount of air in a sample of basketballs that is 8 pounds and standard deviation is 0 0.5 pounds. So we are given mean that is x bar is equal to 8 and standard deviation that is sigma is equal to 0 0.5. Now it is given to be a normal distribution. So we first draw normal curve and to draw a normal curve we take horizontal axis. So here we have taken horizontal axis. Now to draw curve we have to find all the points that is x bar minus sigma, x bar minus 2 sigma, x bar minus 3 sigma and x bar plus sigma, x bar plus 2 sigma, x bar plus 3 sigma First of all, let us find x bar minus sigma. Now it is equal to 8 minus 0 0.5 which is equal to 7.5. Then x bar plus sigma is equal to 8 plus 0 0.5 which is equal to 8.5. Similarly, x bar minus 2 sigma is equal to 8 minus 2 into 0 0.5 which is equal to 8 minus 1 that is equal to 7 and x bar plus 2 sigma is equal to 8 plus 2 into 0 0.5 which is equal to 8 plus 1 that is equal to 9 then x bar minus 3 sigma is equal to 8 minus 3 into 0 0.5 which is equal to 8 minus 1.5 that is equal to 6.5 and x bar plus 3 sigma is equal to 8 plus 3 into 0 0.5 that is equal to 8 plus 1.5 which is equal to 9.5 so we have got all these values. Now let us write them on horizontal axis. So we have written all these values 
on this horizontal line. Now we will draw vertical lines at these points, keeping in mind the symmetry about the mean. So we have drawn vertical lines at these points, keeping in mind the symmetry about the mean. Now we will join the top of these lines by free hand. Thus we obtain a free hand curve, which is the required normal curve. Now we have to find that what is the probability that a basketball has less than 7 pounds or more than 9 pounds of air. For this, we see percentage of data or percentage of area lying above nine and below seven. Now from the key idea we know the percentage distribution of area for the graph of normal distribution. Now this is also a graph of normal distribution which is symmetric about the mean. So we have the following percentage distribution of area. Now here we have to find percentage of area lying above 9 and below 7. Now percentage of area lying between x bar minus 2 sigma and x bar plus 2 sigma is 13.5% plus 34% plus 34% plus 13.5% plus which is equal to 95%. Now here x bar minus 2 sigma is 7 and x bar plus 2 sigma is 9. This means percentage of area lying between 7 and 9 is equal to 95% and rest of the area lies below 7 and above 9. Also we know that total area covered under the curve is equal to 100% and area between 7 and 9 is 95 percent. So remaining area is equal to 100 percent minus 95 percent which is equal to 5 percent. Therefore, percentage of area lying above 9 and below 7 is equal to 5 percent. Now from the key idea we also know that percentage of area under the curve gives the probability and here percentage of area under the curve that lies above 9 and below 7 is 5%. So the probability that a basketball has less than 7 pounds or more than 9 pounds of air is equal to 5% which is equal to 0 0.05. So this is the required answer. And this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.